Hey everybody, this is Colin with Promo Guy. I'm excited to uh, come to you today with a few videos. Actually, we're gonna I'm gonna be recording a couple. Just I'm gonna cr create them in, in separate videos so that it kind of keeps it a little bit organized, keep them a little bit shorter. But overall, this entire series is gonna be kind of like a a sports betting plus EV betting how to navigate the casino for beginners kind of thing because i know that a lot of people joining us or who have considered uh following the page and following our bets are a little bit nervous because they don't fully understand what all of it is uh when i'm talking with my friends and my family a lot of what i've heard is just hey it sounds cool and smart but i don't know what you're doing so i, I spend a lot of my time explaining it to them so i thought i'd go uh today and just kind of introduce you guys a few basic terms uh, we're going to start off today with just the very basics of sports betting uh, and then we're going to talk more about kind of what plus ev betting is and, and how we're navigating those all right so with that being said we're going to hop in i'm going to start off with a bunch of the uh the terms, I suppose. So if you have your notebook, you're ready to follow along. I've got mine. Uh, I am a teacher. I love vocab. So we're going to start off with a vocab lesson. So make sure you guys get your notes out and follow along because who knows, maybe I'll test you at the end. So we're going to be popping in here. We're going to be looking at DraftKings. This is, uh, we're very excited about DraftKings. We just got a new sign up on it or a sign up link with them. So if you haven't already signed up with DraftKings, uh, definitely take advantage of their promotions, their sign up offers right now. They've got a, they've got a really good one. That's just easy money. So definitely sign up there. Once you're here, the reason I'm doing DraftKings is it's a very easily navigable website, basically, or app on your mobile. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to kind of show you guys these main terms. We're going to have really six, six main things that we're talking about today. We're going to talk about these main vocab words. So our five, our five vocab words. And then just we're going to talk about what this whole point system is. So I'm going to go to the NFL because we have uh, Monday Night Football tonight. Always excited about that. And I'm just going to talk about these three are our first, our first three vocab words. So we have our money line, we have our total, and we have our spread. Uh, so our money line, write this down. Our money line is just plain and simple. Who's going to win the game? The reason they call it a money line is because they change the money, they change the payout uh, to account for people who are favorites and whatnot. If you think for tonight. We have the Patriots and the Bills. They play each other. Monday Night Football. Big game. Two great teams. If you think the Patriots are going to win that game, you're going to click here. You're going to say, hey, I'm going to bet 10 bucks on it. Boom shakalaka. Right? There it is. If you think the Bills are going to win, obviously you can't bet both, so i got to delete the other one. And you're, again, going to bet, hey, I think 10 bucks. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> that is just straight up. If the Bills win, you win your bet. If the Patriots win, you win that bet. So that is our money line. This is uh, across pretty much all sports. This is a very simple line. The only one that it gets a little bit more complicated in is you get into soccer. So football, uh, their money line is in the regular time because they deal with a lot more ties than many other sports. They have a draw option in the money line. Does it end up as Leipzig winning Man City or does it end up in a tie in the regular time? Uh, so that's the only one you look at the NBA, their money line, very simple, just two options, college basketball, NHL, NFL, um, you get into tennis, whatever. Uh, so lots of options there when you have uh, two teams straight up head to head, you just get the money line. We're actually going to stick with NBA here. I know I switched sports on you, but it's the same things. Look, we got the same terms. So we got our total. This is the total points scored in the game right? So we're looking at our Thunder Pistons game. I'm a big Pistons fan. And so if you're looking here, you're looking at this bet, you say, hey, I think it's it's going to be over 205 and a half total points. So if it ends up a 110 to 100 uh, game, the Pistons win because go Pistons. Uh, and that goes over the 205 and a half total points then the over hits. If it's fewer than that, so if it's like a 90 to 95 game, then the under hits. Now, a lot of people ask me, hey, uh, why is there like a half a point? Why are there half points involved? That's to honestly make it more simple on you. If it hits exactly 206 points, then the over hits. If it hits exactly 205 points, then the under hits. Then you don't mess, 
you don't end up having these uh, these pushes is what we call where if it's 217 and the total hits exactly 217 then you don't win you don't lose you just get your money back so this is just the half a point you can't hit a half a point that's on purpose now we're looking at the spread I'm actually gonna go back to football because I think there was a really good example of, of what a spread is there. So we're gonna go down here to the Jaguars. Jaguars Titans game. That's a game this Sunday. If you're looking at the money line, the Jaguars are big underdogs. The Titans are big favorites. So if you're like, hey, I wanna bet on the Titans, but this is just crazy. This is not gonna, this is not gonna pay me like anything. And if not only do you believe in the Titans, you believe in them winning by a lot, that's when you bet on the spread, right? So the spread for this game is basically you're taking that line and instead of moving the money, you're changing the payout for one person doing it, you're changing the amount of points, how close the game is, right? So if you think it's not gonna be close at all, the Titans are not only gonna win, but they're gonna kick the Jaguars butts. Then you're gonna move that to nine and a half points, right? So. This is more of the 50-50. This is where they think this is, hey, you want even payout? This is what it's going to be. This is going to be your spread. So if you think the Titans are going to win, you think they're going to win by like 35, bet on the spread. If you think the Jaguars, hey, maybe they don't win. You're like, you like the Jaguars a lot, but you know that they're, they're lacking in a few areas. Then you want to bet on the spread. That gives you a little bit more uh, kind of leeway. You get about nine and a half points. So let's say the Jaguars lose but they lose 17 to 10. It's a low scoring game. Uh, it's close. The Jaguars stayed in it. They fought, but the Titans score a touchdown right at the end. The Jaguars can't come back and match that. They still cover that spread. So you still win that bet. You still win money for betting on the Jaguars. Um, it's just not obviously the long shot money line. So our three main terms that we're starting off with money line. Again, this is just who's going to win the game total. How many total points are going to be scored and then spread this is hey maybe they don't win uh but they are close or not only do they win but they absolutely kick the butt it's how close that game is okay so those are our three starting off bets from there we have kind of two more a little bit more complicated bets these are our most simple bets now we're going to talk about props this is our fourth term our props are these kind of oddball bets these are the hey how many total yards is josh allen gonna throw for i th thought i clicked on it. how many receptions look at this we can go rush yards receiving yards receptions total rushing and receiving yards longest rush longest receptions these are kind of crazy stat based uh props that you can bet on so if you think cole beasley is gonna go for more than three and a half receptions there you go, right there. If you think Devin Singletary is gonna have fewer than two and a half, so he's only gonna have zero or one or two receptions, then you're gonna bet on his under for receptions. So those are props. They can be player props, or you can have game props too. You can have like quarters. There, there are more going along the side there that I can't quite reach, but you can look at them through here in the NBA where you have these game props, right? So first team to so many points, you have, hey, is, so and so this team um gonna win by so and so many points right so they win by one to five or six to ten these are the more specific kind of oddball bets and then finally we have a parlay if i'm gonna go back to the nfl and i think not only are the bills gonna win but I also think, hey, the Vikings are going to win. They're going to bounce back from losing to my Lions. The Vikings are going to win that game and the Titans are going to win. If I think all three of these things are going to happen, then I can put them in a parlay. What this is, is saying that all three of these things have to happen for me to win this bet. Not only do the Bills have to win, but the Vikings have to win and the Titans have to win. So all three of these things have to happen. This is something we don't bet on a ton. Uh, unless there's some kind of insurance or promotion, which books do a lot of. We'll talk about this in my next video. Uh, but they do a lot of these because they want you to get in the habit of betting parlays. DraftKings has a cool little feature here. We got to click the same game parlay button and then it'll open up into this fun little feature. And look, I already have this parlay built. That's not what I'm actually doing, but you can do all three, all four of those. All four of those happen within the parlay and you get paid out that much. Okay, so there we go. Those are our bets. Those are our parlay bets. Finally, I want to talk about one thing. You've seen them in all of these bets. I'm going to go back to the NBA 
because I want to talk about this plus minus system. Um, so we're going to keep it real simple. Basically what this is, is it's bet it's surrounding a hundred dollars. So this means that they're an underdog, right? So Oklahoma city thunder, they are an underdog. So if you bet a hundred dollars, you win 135. You see that? So the total payout, you get your hundred dollars back and you win the 135. If you are a Pistons fan, then what this minus means, so plus 135 is super simple. You bet 100, you get that much back. The other, the uh, Pistons is the exact opposite. So you would have to bet 155 to win the 100. I hope that makes sense. So it's surrounding a $100 system where if you want to make this much money, you bet $100 on the underdog and you win that much. If you want to bet on the favorite in order to win 100, they flip on you, then you have to bet 155. So again, if we're going here to these, this this uh, Hornets Sixers game, Hornets are a uh, big underdog. So if we wanted to bet on the Hornets, we think, hey, they're going to win the game. We put $100 down. That's what that 225 is. You get plus 225. So you win $225. If the Sixers win, so you think the Sixers are going to win in order to win $100, you have to bet 280. So that's based on your unit system. This is a little bit confusing, but with some practice, it becomes really simple. Uh, again, our main kind of points for this were the money line, our total, the spread, we talked about parlays and props, and we also talked about this American gambling system. I hope this was helpful for you guys today. We're gonna talk more about this. We're gonna talk specifically about how promotions work, how boosts work, how arbitrages are. Uh, we'll talk more about what we're doing with Promo Guy in our next video. So I hope this was a good kind of base layer for you guys. All right, I'll see you next time.